Now we have go over the basics of variable and functions. Let's take a look at some more complex data structures. Let's talk about how we can test our logic inside our scripts. Let's create a new method and we're gonna call that test with the return type void. We start with the most simple structure of a condition. The most simple condition we can use is the if statement. Before we get started, let's create a new variable help. Help equal to 10. We start with the if statement and we passing uh, the help variable inside the condition and we're gonna use two equal sign uh, signs to compare the health with the value 10. So if health equal to 10, debug health is full. So and before we jump into Unity and we try to execute the code, we need to, uh, to call our test. So we're going to call it in the start function. Let's save and then go into Unity and we're going to test our code. So health is full. So if health equal to 10, debug log health is 4. So else debug So, and now let's change the value of the health. Go back into Unity and we're gonna test our code. So, health is not full. So, now let's try to give a condition with the else. As if health minus you are in danger, you need more health. Left side to save. something well. you need more help so what you need to learn in this composition that we can use multiple if statements together in order to execute our code so a game is um, is a complex that uh, is a complex logic. So sometimes we need to use more than one if statement in a block of code. Now we have learned how to work with the statements. Let's try to learn how to simplify writing conditions to make them easy to work with. Let's try to create a new variable. Is that echo of our board head is a negative value? So now let's try to create a new string. Let's 
state or mode let's call it mode equal to is that equal to that Lie. Now let's try to print. So, what's this? This is is what we can call is simplifying our code. So we created a new variable. It's a boolean. So health is uh, equal to zero. So boolean will be true or false so is that is gonna be true so string mode is that if is that equal to true it's gonna print that else it's gonna print a lie so let's test let's clear our cursor now let's try so it's dead because our value is negative so we change it to 10 and we try it to execute our code. We're gonna print a lie. So thank you for watch watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.